we are, we are setting out to quantify boundaries. Why? Because we need them in order to navigate our future on Earth. And why do we need those today? Well, it's because 50 years back, we were not hitting the ceiling yet, as far as we knew, on biophysical systems that regulate the whole planet. Now, we've reached a saturation point. We filled up the whole space. We're, we're hitting the ceiling of the capacity of the Earth system to, to cope with more pressure. I would call a, a beautiful value of the Earth system boundaries, which is that the Earth system boundaries have from the outset not only taken on safety and justice, but also wants to be a bit more forward-leaning, a bit more closer to, to society, to businesses, to cities, to, to, to operationalizing, to do something with the science. So we will now take on novel entities, we'll be working with oceans much more uh, actively, we'll sort out the links between land and biodiversity. We'll be having a much more systematic assessment of transformation pathways. What are the sustainable development pathways that can bring us back within a safe and just space, not only for climate, but for all the Earth system boundaries? My vision for the Earth Commission is to make it a permanent global common good where we continuously update the science of safe and just boundaries to guide humanity's future on Earth.